Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. So this is the, uh, you know, the watercolor tutorial. I did it uh, in my previous video. So I'm just, uh, you know, trying to make a human figure with the watercolor because a lot of people are struggling to make that. So if you have not seen this video, then I would request you to please go and see this uh, video. The, uh, the video link is given in top. And uh, so today what I'm going to do here is uh, I want to continue with the further uh, process in this because we need to create a story, right? So the painting is all about the story and it doesn't complete uh, until you have not complete the story. So the earlier story was there's a, you know, the couple of people are coming, uh, you know, uh, the working professional, um, uh, you know, they're coming after after their office. So uh, what I want to do here is uh, I want to create, a, you know, a, this ambience where there are quite a few people here. They're also coming from office or, you know, from their regular job. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, and uh, some bit of, uh, uh, you know, the city life. So this is the kind of, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the story I have. So the process doing this uh, is to inform you how to, you know, establish your painting and, uh, you know, uh, get, your comp uh, get your paintings completely composed. So let's go ahead. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm uh, I'm going to make uh, some more people. So this this couple of people are uh, in a front one, and I want to create a few more people, and they are coming from you know uh, from their office. So uh, see, uh, these people are like uh, quite behind from this. So the focal point is this, and uh, these guys are just uh, behind. So. This is the surface level, I would say, and uh, you know, they're also and maybe uh, just next to this, there is a one car just passing through and uh, some more people here this is going to be one another building and some sort of uh, design boards Okay, and uh, this is also one building, and uh, few people here. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, let's go ahead and uh, paint this. So, so before I go ahead and uh, make a further work on this. And so I just wanted to bring a very important news is that uh, I have recently launched a new, uh, you know, category tied in my Patreon page where you can access my very exclusive watercolor tutorials where you can learn from, you can explore and there are a lot many other uh, you know rewards are involved in those tires. So moreover what is really interesting thing is that uh, I, have been, uh, I will be creating a very uh, interesting uh, a, you know uh, the watercolor tutorial with, uh, with the proper introduction and uh, all of that. And uh, I'll be uploading those uh, tutorials uh, in my Patreon page. And uh, if you become, uh, you know, the part of my uh, tire categories, uh, you know, patrons, then you will have a chance to access all of that. So please visit my Patreon page and check all of those categories. Uh, I would request you to please visit my Patreon page and uh, 
explore the various category the car tire rewards i have uh, for all my patrons so you will be able to access uh, several watercolor tutorial those tutorials are very exclusively done for my patrons so check that and just see how you can contribute and how you can you know uh, how you can get uh, benefit from from my uh, being my patron so okay let's go ahead so what i'm going to do here is i'm working on the the first thing is uh, sky a little bit of work so i've used this uh, ultramarine blue and uh, i've taken uh, burnt sienna and uh, for the building so these are the human which we need to paint so i'm just uh, i'll be using a multiple color here so i'm just using uh, yellow ochre and uh, <clears throat> mixing with uh, bansiana and uh, <clears throat> sorry and uh, little bit of orange uh, here and now I'm using the ultramarine blue I want to make uh, a slightly darker <clears throat> the pants and for the legs okay and uh, probably this is the head and uh, remember we had this uh, vehicle uh, this car so I'm just making uh, the windshield of this car I am using this car as in a blue color And this uh, is going to be uh, the rear tire, the wheel. And we have a few more crowd here just uh, next to the car. So I'm just using slightly lock uh, you know lighter color here this time because uh, those people are slightly far and we have uh, some shop uh, signboards the name of the shop so probably we can use some contrast color here so I'm using this orange and uh, Again, I'm using this blue color. Okay. All right. And uh, now there is some more objects. So we just need to play around with the depth and the light. Okay. 
So these people, <clears throat> remember we had uh, the shadow here. So exactly the same thing. Uh, we have this, these people just walking. They have, we need to make a shadow for this. Okay. <clears throat> for car as well. Here and there, a little bit of depth. So I'm creating the depth mixing with burn sienna and uh, ultramarine blue. All right. So now uh, we need to make a little bit of a dimensional. Uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, these uh, buildings so I'm using again a uh, little very lighter shades of uh, ultramarine blue Okay, a little more dark here. And uh, after this house, there is another building, you know, which is uh, slightly far. So I'm using uh, lots of water on my brush. And uh, just apply the color here a little bit of it. So I'm just using, <clears throat> I'm leaving this white space here, I mean uh, the, the space here. So it gives me you know, the source of the light of this building because the light is coming from this side. And that is the reason we are having this, uh, you know, shadow, <clears throat> this angle. So all of this you have to, you know, think. Now this side is uh, almost done. So now let's move here, this this side of building, the left side of the building. So I'm again, I'm using this uh, ultramarine blue and I'm mixing with uh, Bonsiana. So for the roof part, I'm, I want to make a little dark here because that's uh, that exposure of the light is very less so this has to be a much darker right Now, similarly here, we can still make uh, a lot of seeds here, a little darker. No? And uh, you, you got it right. What I want to explain, uh, because we, we are using the various shades of uh, you know the lighter and then the little darker and the object which is more closer to your eyes that has to be more darker. 
uh, in my previous video you have seen that how we have created uh, you know this uh, this object so do a lot of this uh, uh, and this would be uh, a very fun filled uh, activity uh, this is just uh, you can say it's a vertical sketch which adds a lot of value to your daily learning so you have to do a lot of this okay uh, and don't hesitate to just uh, you know be free and start putting color here and there uh, the watercolor is a medium uh, which which uh, generates uh, a pleasurable uh, you know uh, the object by itself uh, if you are you know following some of the basic rules so uh, keep doing that uh, i have seen that a lot of people are you know, struggling with the watercolor i really want you to <laughs> You know, uh, say that uh, uh, watercolor is not a tough medium at all. It all, uh, you know, uh, it all required is your time and your, you know, you know, your sincere effort. So, put your effort to one painting every day, uh, and that should not be on a, you know, a very high level of painting with the all details and all. Just spend some time, just ten minutes every day. So wherever you are, even even if you are going to your office or wherever you are. Keep one small pocket, uh, you know, uh, a notebook, and do some doodling. Apply some color. So there will be a lot of learning to that. So that's a really wonderful uh, thing to do that, and you'll see that you'll start progressing. So uh, I think uh, you enjoyed. You have learned from this video. Uh, I would uh, request you to please visit my Patreon page and explore my category. You know, uh, the tire rewards for you. Uh, so all of those rewards are very important for you as well as for me uh, that actually helps me to create a lot of watercolors so the all these tire uh, I'm creating a lot of watercolor tutorial those are the very uh, you know exclusive watercolor tutorial which adds a lot of value to your watercolor learning so please check that and uh, see that how you can enroll and uh, get benefited from those uh, tutorial so i'll uh, see you soon and uh, uh, and i hope that uh, i'll be coming with a new video very soon with a more exciting subject see you